Hi everyone, this is just a quick video to talk about a new feature from the eFootball 26 update and that is we now finally have in-game FPS unlock at least for PC gamers so if you're on Steam or the Microsoft Store version then you can do that in-game so for someone like me who used to use Caddy Lillian's FPS unlocker which one's better, the in-game one or the patch? so in this video I'll be testing both of them and see if there's a difference. So let's go straight into it. So I'll be doing two tests. The first one is the trusty sprint circle delay test and we have the settings on the top left corners. So the first test is both 144 FPS but only using the in-game unlocker. But the left side is with V-Sync and the right side is without V-Sync. In this one we don't actually see a lot of difference between the two. Both are producing very similar results. And the second test is doing a full power circle pass from a stationary position. The first marker will be the time taken for the power bar to appear at the bottom left of the screen. And without feasting it's actually 2 frames faster, but bear in mind that 144 frames per second. And the second marker is the time taken for the boot to make contact with the ball. And once again, without feasting it's 2 frames faster. Now the result with the patcher with feasting off is interesting because apart from the first two examples which take eight frames the other two examples show only six frames so two frames faster and using the in-game unlocker now comparing the full power pass again it's still faster for the power bar to show up and it's also faster to kick the ball about four frames faster than the in-game one with v-sync and two frames faster compared to the in-game one without v-sync now mind you two frames equates to about a hundredth of a second so I'll let you decide if that's an advantage or not. So let's say your computer has the power to run at higher than 60 FPS then should you? Well this is what it looks like at 60 we've seen 6 frames, 8 frames, 10 frames, 8 frames, 7, 7 it's really inconsistent and that's just the nature of running at a lower FPS you would generally see less information and often they're delayed as well Let's just make it simpler and compare 60 to 120. Every frame you see on 60, on 120 you see 2 frames. And so oftentimes you're seeing information at least a frame delayed if not more. Have a look at this slowed down footage. Remember the game is running at 60 but the footage is captured at 144. Focus on frames 3 to 6 because they are exactly the same. For a whole 4 frames the game is not updating for you. So this is why you want to run the game at higher FPS if you can handle it. Or your computer shall I say. Anyway, now comparing the full power kick. We're seeing up to 5 frames faster when you're running at 144 FPS with V-Sync off. Running the game at a higher FPS than your monitor's refresh rate doesn't seem to have any advantage. In fact, it's worse in some cases. Whatever you do, please don't run the game at unlimited FPS and don't be that person who's like, look I've got 800 FPS in the menus. Please don't make your GPU output frames that your monitor can't even produce. All you do is wasting energy and wearing down your GPU. So please don't do that. Anyway, hope that's been helpful. I'll still be using the patcher, but I understand that some of you don't necessarily trust external applications. In that case, you can just use the in-game one. Give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one.